SOMA – Solving Optical Marker-Based Mocap Automatically Marker-Based Optical Motion Capture, in short mocap, is the gold standard method for acquiring accurate 3D human motion in computer vision and graphics. Mocap systems record the light reflected or otherwise emitted by a set of markers placed on key locations on the surface of a subject's body. The output is precise 3D marker positions as sequences of unordered noisy points. These points are brought in correspondence with the physical markers in a process called labeling. Here, the color assigned to each point represents a label. After labeling, the body underlying the mocap is recovered in a process called solving. Labeling noisy, ambiguous, and sparse 3D points is challenging and is a bottleneck limiting the creation of large collections of high-quality motion data. Ghost points are outliers that occur frequently in mocap. Here, they are visualized as cubes. Occlusions occur when a marker is not seen by multiple mocap cameras. Ghost points and occlusions complicate the already challenging combinatorial labeling problem. We introduced SOMA, a mocap auto-labeling pipeline that is more accurate and robust than existing state-of-the-art research methods and can be applied where commercial systems cannot. The input to SOMA is a frame of mocap point cloud that is unordered and has a varying number of points. SOMA exploits stacked self-attention transformer elements to learn the spatial structure and kinematic constraints of the underlying deformable 3D human body. Furthermore, we enforce bijective label point matching, which takes into account occlusions and ghost points through a spatial normalization layer. Finally, we use MOSH to solve for the 3D body in simplex format using the automatically labeled points. MOSH further adds robustness to missing or occluded markers. We compute the attention span at each layer for three different markers indicated by the cube shape. The intensity of the color red corresponds to the attention weight. Deeper layers focus the attention on geodesically closer body regions, indicating that the network has learned end-to-end -end about the structure of the body from the point clouds. We train SOMA using only synthetic data by placing virtual markers on animated bodies from the AMAS dataset. The virtual markers are placed according to marker layouts V and then crafted with noise from a variety of sources to produce realistic mocap point clouds for training. We add up to three ghost points per frame, shown as yellow cubes. We randomly occlude up to five markers per frame. We randomly perturb the placement of markers on a one-ring neighborhood of the original marker layout vertex. We add real marker noise from the AMAS dataset. We vary body shapes by sampling bodies from Caesar and AMAS. Finally, we sample a wide range of poses from AMAS. SOMA requires one labeled frame per significant change in the marker layout. This involves minimal user initial effort and is done once for the whole dataset. We provide a semi-automated solution that initializes the labels using a generic version of SOMA trained with the superset marker layout. With SOMA, we automatically label over 8 hours of archival mocap data across 4 different datasets captured using passive as well as active marker technologies. Using MOSH, we subsequently solve for simplex bodies. The processed datasets include challenging poses such as a variety of dance motions. Active marker-based mocap systems emit a frequency modulated light that allows reliable tracking of markers. Unfortunately, the mapping from frequency to body location often changes throughout the dataset precluding automatic solving of these archival mocap sequences. DanceDB and the Mixamo datasets are example cases that are successfully solved with automatic SOMA labels. For the Mixamo dataset, we observed more than 50 different marker layouts, of which we picked 19 key variants to train SOMA. The generic SOMA model provides the initial labeling of the 19 variants, minimizing user effort. Even though we do not train SOMA specifically to deal with objects or props, it can automatically assign them to the null label. Here, visualize using yellow cubes.
Labeling passive marker-based mocap data is more challenging since markers are assigned a new ID on their reappearance from occlusion. This results in small tracklists instead of full trajectories. The CMU2 dataset is an example with around 2 hours of unlabeled mocap including many object interactions and challenging motions. We identified 15 significant variations in marker layout with a range of 40 to 62 markers. As with other datasets, we train a single model for the whole dataset that can already handle variations of these marker layouts. Occasionally, markers fall off the subject's body during capture, changing the marker layout and introducing ghost points into the scene. Soma can handle such cases without requiring extra training. However, major issues with the original mocap data, like excessive marker occlusions or significant movement of the markers by flying off the body in the middle of the capture, could result in failure cases. To quantitatively evaluate SOMA, we capture a new mocap dataset with 11 different motion categories performed by two subjects summing to 69 motions. We label the mocap point clouds both using SOMA and the commercial Shogun package from Wicon. We take human labeled mocaps as ground truths. SOMA shows similar qualitative and quantitative performance compared to the proprietary tool without requiring subject-specific calibration, which is essential for auto-labeling large archival mocap datasets. Numerically, SOMA delivers the submillimeter accuracy expected by the marker-based mocap system users. Under the project website, for research purposes, you can access the trained models, runtime code, and solve bodies of the datasets permitted by the original owners. Thank you for your attention.